You ever fantasize about waking up in a truck bed while living on the road? <laughs> hey guys, my name is Katie Doan, and I run the channel Where is Katie Doan on Insta, YouTube, and WordPress. I have been living in my Ford F-150 for about six months now. I've been on the road ever since uh, 2017 when I hiked the Appalachian Trail. So the past three months I have spent surviving in the cold of Kentucky, working at Amazon. I went minimalist to work at the biggest consumer retailer in the world. I figured the world was dying to know what a typical day looks like for me living in a truck. Uh, totally doable, completely non-glamorous. I thought maybe I'd answer some frequent questions. Maybe you're interested in living in a car and this could help you on your journey. So let's go. Alright, so to all my solo female vagabonds out there, love you. Everyone's always saying you're by yourself. You have a gun? You have pepper spray? Oh my god, how are you not dead yet? Uh, so I've been doing this for better part of a year and I can honestly say I've never had a problem. Number one thing is just to be aware of your surroundings. Just pay attention. There are nights I will drive in complete circles and I feel like an idiot and I'm very tired and I just want to sleep. But if I'm not comfortable with the spot, I won't stay there. I won't stop. I will keep going till I find it. Okay? So just listen to that inner, you know, voice. And of course there's going to be times where you're just super anxious anyway and you're like, I'm sleeping in a car and you can kind of just walk up and this is kind of weird. It'll be okay. I have been thinking about investing in pepper spray lately, but mostly because everyone else freaks you out and they say, you gotta be safe, there's so many weirdos out there. I have seen the entire East Coast and it's been okay. I love going by on a bike very slowly. She's going in the puddle. Do it! Your life is too precious, come back! So I started living out of this truck in the summer of 18. People say that. Do they say 18? I mean, I would be like, Oh, three. Anyway, I had every intention of getting a van. Van life, so hot right now. Everyone wants vans. I mean, we've all seen the Instagram. It looks good. It looks uber glamorous. It's living life on the road. And generally, there's a handsome man that's shirtless and full of muscles. I mean, golden retrievers and puppies and things. Anyway. Time was short, I needed to hit the road, and ta-da! It's a Ford F-150 Super Cab, so I have uh, the little half space in the back and a six and a half foot bed, which is perfect for my 5'7 stature. Works out really well in warmer weather. No. I didn't want to deal with maintaining a bathroom anyway, and I knew I wanted to mostly boondock. Yeah, super easy. I plug into one electrical outlet if I have the privilege of doing so for a heater. That's all you need. And charging electronics. And I've lived in Kentucky since December. I'm actually from Buffalo, New York, and it's been just as cold. It's kind of like the spring of Buffalo, where it's always brown and but it's, it's freezing. Anyways, I'm in my last week here before I get to run off and see Indy, the love of my life. I usually travel with my golden retriever, Indiana. Has done so good living in the truck. He's a 75 pound golden retriever and him and me fit in the truck bed just fine. Maybe that's why I don't have any problem with scary people. My vicious golden retriever. Uh, diving into truck life if it's something that interests you. I'm going to say truck life and not car life, but you are also welcome to live out of your existing car. I've seen a good number of people that make that work. You know, they put down the back seats, uh, they can stealth, all that kind of stuff, um, and it works out for them. Mind you, these are kind of 
short-term temporary things a great way to save money you know you're not paying for rent you maybe have your car payments or your you know car insurance and that kind of stuff but taking out that whole rent thing and utilities thing is pretty big and a great way to help pay off debts and do all that good stuff um, it's kind of nice. I feel like people are a lot more accepting than they used to be of living in a car. Uh, like they respect that you're putting in an effort um, to better yourself, I guess. It's also a very good reflective process. Many times you will be sitting in this tiny little box for hours with nothing but your thoughts. Uh, well, living in a vehicle is relatively cheap. The idea for me anyway, is, is to work as needed and adventure as much as possible. That was kind of the whole point of living in a truck. You can travel the whole country and see this wonderful place and not pay for hotels or hostels and all that stuff. You can just sleep where you park it. All those Pinterest posts and Insta pics of wooden cabinets and truck beds look great. We're just trying to save as much money as possible. I can't tell you how many times I've opened my truck bed. People will say, you live back there? Can I see? Pop open the layer top and they go, huh. Listen, so if I'm gonna live in a car, I'm not gonna have a fucking fancy fitted out back because I live in a car. So obviously I don't have the money for that stuff. You can make it look so glamorous, you know? the wooden fixtures and cabinetry and all these things. So, while all those pictures look fabulous and nice, I think it's really important to stick to the idea that you're trying to save some money. So, all you do is what's necessary. I will tell you what your most expensive things will be. Uh, we're gonna go with gas, food, and campgrounds. I do have a cooler. Uh, it's an Orca, which is a little cheaper than Yeti. That was one of my most expensive purchases. I think it was $200. Worth its weight in gold. While it's frustrating to maintain, it doesn't use power and it allows me to have food, which is really great because eating out gets very expensive. Um, with food, I struggled a lot for the first, I would say, couple months living in the truck. I mean, it was cold. You really just want to have that hot, warm meal, right? Um, long story short, I can't accept the fact it's just not going to happen because those hot, warm meals are instant things, you know? Uh, get a cooler because <laughs> Kentucky's a perfect example of this. It's going to freeze, so all your food will either get destroyed from freezing. If you don't have it in the cooler, the cooler actually keeps, insulates it so it won't freeze. Or for when it dethaws, it's 60 degrees out. All of a sudden, oh no, now my food's gonna go bad really fast. Um, super expensive, but really thick walled coolers like this, all you need is, man, you know, I'm a Starbucks fiend, and I'll just go in there and ask for cups of ice, pull it down. Or it's perfect if the weather's freezing because then everything is perfectly chilled inside. There are so many visitors today. There's so many randos and trucks just walking the creek. Like, I don't know if they drop something in there and they're like, oh, I'll go down the creek and catch it. Some shit, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, they have nothing else to talk about in Kentucky about the, but the weather. And the weather is bugs. Healthy. Hi. What the fuck, man? Literally, so many people here. It's like there's something activity. I can't stop. Thank you.